Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to lesson 7 of the BandLab tutorials. In the previous lesson we looked at all about adding some effects and we added a reverb onto our vocal chop here. In this lesson I'm going to show you what automation is and what it does, how we can use it. Automation basically means something's automatic. You can program the computer so it automatically does something for you. The first one I'm going to show you is how to automate volume. Let's have a listen to our track first of all. Great. What I'm going to do is I've decided I want this drum beat here, my second track. I want that to get slowly louder up to the end of this bar here. You want to go over and click this little button here. If you hover over it, it says show and hide automation. So you're going to click on that and it brings up this. It looks a bit scary, but it's not. Don't worry. I've got my track selected and you can see the drop down menu. I've got volume. I can click on that and at the moment I've got volume and pan. I'm just going to do volume at the moment and what you do is you just click and it makes a couple dots and you can move them. So if you pull it down it means the volume is quiet. You can see the decibels there and then you can bring it right up here and then have a listen. Another thing you can automate as well is the panning. I'm going to show you with the keys, so I'm going to click on the keys track. Just to recap, the panning is basically sort of the stereo field, so you've got the left and the right. So what I'm going to do with the keys, so if I drag it down, it's going to go towards the left, and if I pull it up, it's going to go towards the right headphone. And I'm going to do another one, so then it goes back down to the left. What you should hear in this is going from left to right to left. Let's have a listen. I'm just going to solo it as well. There you go. That's how you can automate the panning. One more thing I'm going to show you is how to put automation on an effect. Let us go down to this vocal chop that we worked on last time. If you remember, we put on some reverb. I'm going to turn the automation on and you can just see from this drop down menu that actually it's created two more for us. The studio reverb and the mix and the color. What we want is the mix. So this is how much reverb you hear. At the moment it's relatively low. We've only got a little bit of reverb on it, but I want the reverb to increase over time. Again, I'm making two points and I'm pulling it up. You'll hear that there's going to be more reverb as the time goes on. Let's have a listen. more reflections. Great. If you've decided that actually you don't like it, what you can do is you can right click and reset automation and takes it back for you. You can just click this button to hide it as well. Great. Make sure you play around with these. If you put on other effects as well, play around with the automation effects on there as well. Let me know how you get on in the comments. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to record some vocals into BandLab. <laughs> 